Yo, what's going on guys, it's me, Jetty. Today, we're gonna look at the top 10 reasons for distracted driving and car accidents. So let's go. All right, number one, super basic, distracted driving. So, yeah, the first one's like super funny, right? Haha, <laughs> distracted driving, talking about distracted driving. Well, what do I mean? Phone calls, texting, uh, going on your car monitor and doing stuff, calling people, <laughs> uh, playing games on your phone, um, watching Netflix. That was one that I saw. It was super funny. Yes, yeah, so people are actually watching Netflix while they're driving. Yeah, you guys should be paying attention to the road. So these are the common reasons why distracted driving causes accidents because you're not looking at the road. So yeah, most of the thing, most of these things actually just come down to just looking at the road. So when you're not looking at the road, of course you're gonna get into accidents because you're distracted. And when you're distracted, you're not able to concentrate and you make some stupid mistakes. So don't be distracted. Number two is probably one of the most dangerous causes and this is drunk driving. A lot of people drink and drive and I really don't know why they do it, but I mean, I mean, well, if you if if you really look into it, most of the most most of these most of these drunk driving like most of like the DUI incidents are actually from like the night when you're like you know two o'clock three o'clock when people are just like you know drunk, don't want to call an Uber, don't want to walk, they just want to like wing it, you know I'm like I'm not gonna get caught and you just wing it, boom, something happens. So when you're drunk, call an Uber. Call a friend. Have a sober friend. When you guys are going out, have a sober friend. And if you drink, drink responsibly. Make sure you're under your state or country speed limit. Don't go over it. And and yeah, just be smart. Most of these accidents can be stopped if you're just smart. If you just think the uh, think things through. And just don't drink and drive. Super basic, super like you know important too. But people just don't want to follow it. So I'm sure if people stop drinking and driving, about 60% of all accidents and on the road would be stopped. Number three, speeding. So, you know, the speed limit's 45. I got to get to this dinner. I mean, I don't want to leave her waiting. What do I do? Boom! Run it at 60. Yeah, <laughs> next thing you know, you're not going to the dinner anyway. But speeding is actually really common too and the reason people speed is because you know they want to get to their place fast enough they think they're really good they're confident in themselves usually one of the things i've noticed a lot is that people are really confident like they think that they can just do it and the you know people when they get into their car and when they have that like sense of urgency and they've been driving for a while they literally think they that their like car experience is at like a nascar level to the point where they can do anything on the road and you know people usually like the, the three signs that people look for are um cops citizens and calls so if you if you don't have any people around speed if you don't have any cops speed uh if you're not getting any calls or you know nothing like that speed this is actually a huge misconception there, there's still traffic lights people are still going to be looking anybody can actually call and report your license plate and you could still get caught so these are the reasons why you should not speed and of course speeding causes accidents because you're not following the speed limit so there's other people who are slow you're going a little bit faster you're trying to weave because it just causes accidents because when you're going in your lane someone's going to be slow because they're actually following the speed limit you're going fast now you have to switch lanes so you switch boom you don't take a look bang crash so just be careful on the road guys don't speed don't be stupid make good decisions that leads us to number four which is reckless driving so reckless driving is basically what i just said before where you just shift lanes shifting lanes fast um not following directions you know like pulling out of a parking lot just on reverse and not like taking your time and people who like drive at two you know like they throw their gear at two and just gun it stuff like that you know you want to really relax on that don't just like don't put the pedal to the floor when you're on the road and you know make sure you guys actually follow the rules and like wait and don't like mess with anything and you know watch out for your surroundings and make sure that all conditions are in your favor number five rain <laughs> yeah so when rain happens it's great for plants houses stuff like that but when you're driving it's horrible and we all we've all experienced this when it rains first of all you gotta have your you for first of all you, you have to have your wipers on next up um you can't see clearly because it's raining 
and then it's like it's it it's never sunny and raining well it is sometimes but it's never usually sunny and raining so when it's raining it's gonna be super dark it's it's not you're not gonna have the best of vision um people are people are all gonna be like you know pretty grumpy no one's gonna want to drive that time you're not gonna want to drive that time you're not gonna be excited they're not gonna be excited so it leads you to make some stupid decisions where you're just like, ah, oh, I just want to get this over with. So you start speeding, doing all the things that I just <laughs> mentioned before, and accidents happen. One of the most like uh, easiest causes for you to get an accident is actually hydroplaning, is when you start gunning your car and then your car kind of like, the, the wheels kind of spin and you start skidding and then your car kind of just, and yeah, so basically just raining, snowing, all these things cause you to hydroplane cause you to have accidents on the road this is not fun don't do it make sure you guys respect your conditions if the weather's not if, if the weather's not if the weather's not looking good don't drive and if you have to drive stay safe number six it's pretty obvious running red lights so people tend, tend to do this because they think that they can make that 0.2 second differential between the the yellow light and the red light that's like the most common reason is when people just like run a yellow and you know they just miss the red but sometimes people actually run red lights straight if they don't see a camera anywhere if they don't see cops or anything and this is definitely bad because there's a reason that the lights are there because if there's a red light there that means that it's green somewhere else so someone else is going in the opposite direction that you're going at common sense and like just use your judgment okay like even if you're gonna do it if you don't i don't condone doing this i don't condone running red lights but if you're gonna do it like make sure that actually you're actually smart about it check for cameras make sure you guys don't get into an accident and it's just safe just not to do that at all so just don't do it and be safe don't run red lights and if you don't think you can make the yellow don't just like drive through and gun it just relax you're not you're gonna be fine that two seconds isn't gonna save you that much so just probably waiting in the light is probably better than possibly losing your life so just be smart think things through number seven is actually um not like a mistake that people do but it's just night driving when you're at night it's darker the lights don't really help you that much as the sunlight would and there's more people making poor decisions at night because that's the time when people are more like likely to fall asleep people are sleepy at night especially like late at night and yeah just like the visibility and everything so night driving is just like bad it's, i'm not gonna talk too much about this because it's not something that you guys should like avoid because i know some of you guys have to do it and i mean if you if you have an option don't do it but if you're if, if you have to do it it's probably best to just avoid it or if you have to do it then there's, there's nothing you can do about it just being safe is the easy way to get out of that and yeah so night driving nothing not, so it's nothing that you nothing bad that you would do it's just just be safe as always number eight is within so it's like design effects so or design defects so in your car the things there, there could be things wrong with your car Make sure you guys check your car, everything's good. If your engine just randomly stops in the middle of the road, of course you're gonna get an accident. And make sure you guys are all up on fuel. Check your cars before you go. A simple practice you guys can have is before you leave the house, checking to see if the tires are good. Um, checking to see if the tires are all pumped, ready to go. Checking to see if your fuel's ready. Checking to see if your oil is all good, all that stuff. I mean, you wanna, you, know, you don't wanna do a full run through, you're gonna run late. But like, you know, like all the basic stuff that could get you in an accident, checking those, make sure your tires are like good. And just doing that basic check before leaving your house is going to save you a lot of time, energy, and possibly your life. Number nine is tailgating. So yeah, tailgating basically when you're like right behind a car. So you're basically bumper to bumper and you are like not letting the other car make decisions. Um, and that's that this definitely gets you in accidents because if they break really sudden, boom, accident. Um, if something happens to their car, your car is probably going to get hit too because you're right there. So you don't have enough time to react. So just don't tailgate. Leave some space between you and the car before you and just stay safe. Number 10 is careless mistakes. We all do them. And this is this could be anything. For example, like making a left turn when you're not supposed to. Or if you switch countries, if you're from the UK and you drive in the US and you go on the left side when you're supposed to be on the right side, this stuff could really end your life. But just being careful like don't make these careless mistakes like for example leaving the blinker on so like indicating that you're gonna go left but you're going right and the guy like on your right lane is like speeding because he knows you're going away and yeah and just being mindful of other people because think about it like other people are new to driving so you actually take it easy on them so you don't expect them to take it easy on you that way you save your life so make sure you guys follow all these rules um stay safe out there 
it's crazy but make sure you guys like the video share the video and subscribe yeah make sure you guys do that and follow me on instagram i will see you guys next time bye